Hi and welcome back to the channel. Um, I hope everyone is enjoying the Easter weekend, a long weekend. I hope you're spending time with friends and families and yeah, hope you're all doing well. Uh, that aside, the international football is done uh, and we're back to the business of club football. So thank God for that because God knows international football sucks. The only thing I had to look forward to this international break was watching Kobe Mayne do his thing for England and hey, the star boy did not disappoint. <laughs> He did not disappoint at all. Um, the first game he came off the bench, I believe. Uh, second half, he did okay. He did all right. And then the second game when England played, what you call, um, Belgium, uh, he started the game and he played for about, I think it was just about 60 or 70 minutes. Uh, didn't really get to watch the whole game. Watched the first half. He looked very good. Um, also, he got the man of the match. So, hey. Happy days. Uh, Kobe Mainu fans are happy. We're celebrating. You know, the world is actually starting to take notice. They all said we were gassing him up and all of that. But I'm glad everyone's now seeing for themselves that the boy is really, really special. But anyways, um, moving on, like I said, from international football back to club football. Um, this weekend, we've got a good run of games coming up. So this is the first episode of the new series that i'm going to be doing of the weekend preview where i'm basically going to be previewing the games that are coming up in the premier league so yeah let's get started shall we um so yeah the first game we've got is newcastle versus west ham um basically newcastle as we speak are in 10th place in the league against and they're playing against west ham who are seventh placed in the league so these are not great teams by any stretch of the imagination but um let me see here um so basically newcastle have won just one of their last three games so the, the form is not so great if we're being honest it's just yeah it's not it's not great however you've got west ham who've now won only two of their last 10 premier league games but with that said, they're undefeated in their last four games. So both these teams are not going into this game with any sort of form, if you ask me. So if you're asking me to predict how the game is going to go, um, I think it's going to be a close one. Like, uh, I feel like if it was at the London Stadium, I'd say it's going to be a draw. But seeing as it's at uh, St. James's Park, uh, and Newcastle tend to do well at home and let's not forget Newcastle are in the hunt for that uh, European place uh, slot in the league so I think Newcastle will just do enough to just get over the line so I think it's going to be a 2-1 win for Newcastle United versus West Ham and then the second game we've got coming up in the Premier League on Saturday we've got Bournemouth versus Everton so basically Bournemouth are in 13th place in the league which is just basically mid-table, versus Everton, who was 16th. Also, you'll remember Everton had 10 points deducted from them in the Premier League earlier this season. Uh, all those sides, teams like Man City have got 115 charges and still no, no points being deducted from them. But hey, what can we say? Uh, but anyways, uh, Bournemouth have only won two of their last three games well, they've won two of the last three games and drew one of them so basically undefeated in the last three games so good form good form for bournemouth and then you've got everton who've got a shocking shocking record right now they've won zero of their last 11 premier league games they haven't won a game in 11 premier league games they've instead had six losses and five draws like that is absolutely shocking that's so so bad um I believe they're 16th in the log and they are right in that relegation scrap. Um, if they're not careful, they might get relegated this season. I'd like for them to stay up simply for the fact that they've been they've had points docked from them. Whereas where else teams like Chelsea and Man City have committed bigger atrocities, if you ask me, yet no one wants to take points from them or deduct points from them. So my prediction for the Bournemouth versus Everton game. And as much as Everton are poor and Bournemouth are in a good run of form, I think it's still going to be close as well. I can see it being a 2-1 win for Bournemouth. So yeah, that's my prediction for Bournemouth versus Everton. Then the next game, we've got Chelsea versus Burnley. So 
as we speak, Chelsea uh, mid-table side, <laughs> a billion, uh, billion pound mid-table side, and um, they're 11th, and they're playing Burnley, what, 19th. So Chelsea have won two and drawn two in the last four games. So it's, it's, it's all right. Basically, it is mid-table form, which is exactly where they are. And then they're playing against Burnley, who have one win, just one win in their last 11 Premier League games. So that is absolutely poor from um, what you call Burnley, and hence their 19th. However, there's a caveat. Uh, Burnley, Burnley's last win came in their last game versus Brentford, where they won, I believe. I think it was 1-0, if I'm not mistaken. So you never know. Maybe this could be a, a turn of events. Maybe this could boost, boost their momentum and push them to actually try and get out of the relegation battle. Because last time I checked, I think the difference between 19th, which is where Burnley are, and 17th, which is where I think Luton is 17th. I think the difference in points is about five points. So Burnley could still survive if they actually go through a run of games where they actually get some points. So, but having said that, I can still say that Chelsea will have too much for Burnley in this game. I mean, the game is at Stamford Bridge. I expect Chelsea to have a comfortable win. So I'm going to predict a 3-1 win for Chelsea versus Burnley at Stamford Bridge. And then the, the game that's coming up next as uh, Nottingham Forest versus Crystal Palace. Um, these are two sides that are not great either. Like Forest are 18th placed in the league. They're literally in the bottom three of the league. They're fighting for their place into next season's Premier League. As it stands, they could get relegated. They're coming up against Palace, who are 14th placed in the Premier League. Now, Neither side have got a good uh, uh, record or are in good form in the last couple of games. Um, let me check here. Forest have only won one of their last nine Premier League games. Just one win in the last nine Premier League games. Um, they've, and they've also lost three of their last four. So Forest are in very, 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 very bad form. Um, who else? Uh, and then they play in Crystal Palace who've only got one win in their last six. So Palace form isn't that great either. Um, in the last six games, they've they've had um, one win, three losses, and two two draws. So not great either. I feel like this one's going to be a very dull and boring game. Uh, my prediction will be one one. Uh, it's going to be a one one draw between Palace versus Forest. And then moving on to the game between bottom of the league, Sheffield United. Yeah, between the, they're just yeah they they're just rubbish. Just relegate them already, man. They, they're just awful. I think we've got about, what, like 14 points all season. And we've played like 29 games. Like that, That's... Uh. Anyway, Sheffield are hosting Fulham, uh, who are currently in 12th place in the league. And then um, Sheffield, have only, or Sheffield United have only won one game in their last 11 Premier League games. They've only got one win. And they've lost three of their last four. So, symbolic performances and form from Sheffield United... Um, they come up against Fulham, who are tough, and Fulham have won three of their last four games. Um, I think they've only had lost one of those last four games against, and it was a shock defeat against Wolves, I believe. Uh, but anyways, I'm, I'm, my prediction is Fulham are absolutely going to slap, uh, flip in what you call them, uh, Sheffield United. I expect three or four nil to Fulham. I'm just going to be on the safe side and say three nil, three nil win for Fulham. But definitely, I expect Fulham to just slap them. It's going to be an easy game for them. Uh, moving on to Tottenham versus Luton. Um, I believe Spurs are fifth in the league and they're coming up against Luton who are 17th in the league. Um, Spurs have won the last two... So, sorry, Spurs have won two of their last three games, but they lost the last game. Um, who did they lose to? They lost 3-0 to Fulham. So it was a heavy defeat for, for Spurs. Good news for us, Man United fans. Keep on losing Spurs, please. <laughs> but yeah, Spurs have lost two of their last three games. Uh, sorry, Spurs have won two of their last three games, but lost the last game against Fulham. So will that cause them to have a bit of a wobble? Or will they prove that it was just a banana skin? Like, it's not really how their season's going to go. I don't know. Let's see if they can recover. But I have a feeling that they're gonna also going to slap Luton. Um, I mean, Luton have got zero wins in their last seven games. They're firmly in a relegation battle as well, but I don't know. I think, look, in as much as 
I want Luton to get something out of that game so that United can get closer to Spurs. Mm, I don't see it happening. It's a, it's at White Hart Lane. Oh, sorry, the Tottenham Hotspur, the new Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. So I see this nothing as nothing less than a four one win for Spurs. Honestly, I feel Spurs want to get back on track and prove that last game was just a banana skin. It's just it's a one off basically. So my prediction for this game is Tottenham will slap Luton four one. And then uh, the next game, we've got Aston Villa, who are fourth in the league. And then we've got Wolverhampton Wanderers, who are ninth in the league. Um, Villa have won three of their last five, but uh, haven't won any of the last two games. Like, they've drawn one and lost one of the last two games. So, uh, again, just like Spurs, they, they, their form is not exactly great right now. Um, I don't know. I've, I've got this feeling that... The pressure of fighting for top four is going to get to Aston Villa and they're just going to drop off because right now it's just big day fourth. And uh, we all know there's a possibility, a high chance that uh, fifth place this season in the Premier League might get to qualify for Champions League. So, I don't know, between Villa and Spurs, I feel like one of them is most definitely going to drop out and in, out of the top four, out of the top five. And if you ask me who's going to drop off, I say it's going to be Aston Villa. Um, I don't know, man, that just... The, they shouldn't even be there in the first place, but credit to them. They've done their thing this season, so they are where they deserve to be. But I don't see them uh, staying there in top four. So I think uh, it sounds going to be a bit of a shock uh, for people. Um, I mean, Wolves have won three of their last four. So Wolves come into this game in very good form. And they're coming up against Villa, who haven't won any of their last two games. So... I'm predicting a, a shock here. I think Wolves might actually shock people and actually beat Aston Villa. I know Villa have got a very good record at home this season. I think they've only lost one or two games to United and someone else this season in the Premier League. Other than that, they've been either winning or drawing. But uh, I'm predicting a shocker. I think Wolves will beat Aston Villa at Villa Park. It's going to be a 2-1 win for Wolves. Uh, yeah. And then moving on to the last game of the day for Saturday, we've got Brentford, who are 15th in the league, versus Manchester United, who are 6th in the league. Now, Brentford hasn't been in good form either. Um, they've lost five of the last six games, you know. But then, uh, you've also got Man United, who won five of their last seven Premier League games. However, um, last season when we went to Brentford, I think that's when we absolutely got embarrassed. It was Ten Hag's second game in the Premier League. Lisandro Martinez got replaced at half time. It, it, it was just a mess. Like I think, I think, I think we lost. Is it four 0 or four one? Yeah, but we absolutely got embarrassed. But uh, I'm predicting this time that Ten Hag's gonna go there, uh, looking to actually get his revenge on Thomas Frank. Also, we just beat Liverpool, so hopefully that hopefully we can actually manage to get a win at uh, Brentford. Um, in as much as ben Brentford are in poor form right now, I feel like um, it's going to be a tight game. Like United never make things easy for ourselves. Uh, but I still feel we'll, we'll somehow win it. I don't know if we'll play well. We'll probably get dominated as, as usual. But uh, I'm going to predict a 2-1 win for Man United away at Brentford. And then we've... That's, that concludes the games for Saturday. And then we've then got Super Sunday. Uh, Super Sunday, we've got the big games. Uh, but the first off, we've got Liverpool versus Brighton at Anfield. So <laughs> if you're asking me, it's a Liverpool win all day. I mean, like, what's the form saying? Liverpool have won eight of their last 10 Premier League uh, uh, games with only one draw and one loss. And that draw and loss came against Man City and Arsenal. So basically, they've beaten everyone else that they're supposed to beat. And then they only lost to Arsenal, and I think it was at the Emirates. And then the draw against City was at Anfield, I believe. But if anyone watched that game, Liverpool were literally on top of Man City. The whole game, they were the better side, and they should have won the game. But some way, somehow, it ended up as a draw. And then you've got Brighton, who have gone, who've won two of the last five games. So, not the greatest of forms, but going to Anfield with that team, I think De Zerbi is absolutely going to get embarrassed. Like... I can see Liverpool hitting them for four. Like, so, if you're asking me my prediction for that game, I can see a 4-1 win for Liverpool at Anfield against Brighton. Uh, last but not least, uh, it's like the Premier League saved the best fixture for, fixture for last. So, it's 
Manchester City versus Arsenal at the Etihad. Uh, I remember last season it was a uh, it was a do or die game. Basically, it was sort of like a title title decider, like when Arsenal went to the Etihad. But Arsenal, I think if Arsenal had won that game, they'd be, they would have been basically champions. I know there's still a few games to go, but I think something like that. But anyways, Arsenal lost and City won the, the rest of history. But this season, this time around, um, as you speak, Arsenal are top of the league. City are third, of course. And then uh, City have won nine of their last 11 Premier League games with just two draws and no defeats. And the draws came against Chelsea and Liverpool. However, uh, Arsenal, on the other hand, have only won seven of their last 11 Premier League games with three losses and one defeat. But what I will say is this season when it comes to the big games, Man City have not beaten anyone in the top six except for, of course, yours truly, the clowns, Man United. Man United were the only side to lose to City. In fact, I think they did the double over us this season in the league. Uh, so I don't see City winning this game. It's going to be a tight game. It's going to be a tough one. But I, I honestly do not see. I know it's at the Etihad and I know... C it's that time where City get into gear and they just start demolishing everybody, but not this time around. I don't think Man City are going to win this game against Arsenal. Um, if anything, I think Arsenal... It, it's, it's, it's one of the two things. I think it's either an Arsenal win or a draw. But Man City are definitely not winning this game. Trust me. Um, my prediction is... 2-2 um, draw. Uh, I think it's either going to be a 2-2 two -two draw or a 2-1 win for Arsenal. Uh, but, um, yeah, I think I'm going to go with a 2-2 two -two draw. I mean, just to be safe. But I think they're going to win. I think Arsenal will win 2-1. But it is at the Etihad and City knows basically sort of like a title, mini title decider. So, now I'm going to go with a 2-0 draw. 2-2 two -two draw in the Arsenal versus Man City game. Um, yeah, and that concludes that concludes my 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 predictions and my thoughts and this weekend's fixtures. Also, um, I'm gonna be doing a full on uh, match preview for Manchester United versus Brentford later on today. I'm gonna be uploading it later on the channel, so stay tuned for that. And then tomorrow, I'm also gonna be doing a a, a full on uh, um, what you call a, a preview for the game for the Super Sunday, the Man City versus Arsenal game. I'll go a bit more into detail in that game tomorrow and also be doing another video a combined 11 uh, man city versus arsenal so stay tuned for that so i've got a couple of videos coming up soon so just keep your eyes peeled keep checking the channel out uh and yeah so for those who have already those who haven't rather uh please subscribe to the channel and if you already have subscribed to the channel turn on the notification bell um share the video like the video all that good stuff and yeah I'll see you again soon. Like I said, I'm going to be uploading a full-on uh, preview. Man United versus Brenton, uh, Brentford rather preview later on today. So yeah, stay tuned and yeah, see you soon.